Yes. <laughs> All right, next we're up. We're on to uh, Propeller Heads, Dex and Drums and Rock and Roll. I love this record, man. This is a this is a very forward-thinking I electronic music album heard from this in I think so it was long. Works, right? Y- probably no Wall of Sound. My bad. Okay, man. All right, so your track was a uh, oh yeah yes and silence for this intro. Listen to this, party people. genius yeah so they, t- they basically if you haven't figured it out by now they they sampled someone skating on a like, half, half pipe. pipe yeah and they panned it so like, yeah it goes you from one left to, right yeah. yeah if you listen to it in headphones yep. you can hear it on one ear and then it goes to the other side yeah and this is one of the more mellow tracks on this album most of these tracks are yeah. really fast and you know upbeat like yeah. kind of like what edm would would be later Yes. You know what I mean? But this is uh, in that when it was still called Electronica in that era. Yeah, right? man. You know, but yeah. yeah, tell us about Propeller Heads. Man, so this group, just in general. So so in the States, we really didn't have much like dance music, right. like idols or anything like that. And so I would go to my rec- the record store with my best friend, Brad. Shout out Brad Vandenberg. Uh, him and I would go to this spot called Flipside Records in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And we just dig for vinyl. And the dudes there would like actually like put us up on things. Yeah. And I think they put Brad up on this and he put me up on it. But anyway, we were into like people like Fatboy Slim. Right. And we were into... Chemical Brothers. Chemical Brothers, yes, yep. 1000. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All those dudes doing a genre then that was called Big Beat, I believe. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but they put us up on propeller heads and uh, the one song was called history repeating was yeah. like the main one I think they even had a music video for it yeah. on like yep. MTV and so those were like the actually MTV came out with a, an album called Amp or something they had an album yes. that was all Amp, ED, yeah it was oh, dance music oh, yeah, chemical yeah, brothers was on yeah, there yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah yeah it was called and, Amp. and I think uh, one of their songs propeller heads yeah. was on that too yep. anyway sidetracked yeah. but <laughs> back to what i was saying there wasn't a way to get a lot of like dance music influences in where i was at in the midwest or in right. just the states in general everything was european and it, like like chicago and detroit so kalamazoo michigan is halfway between chicago and detroit yeah okay. and so in the early 90s there was like techno in detroit and house in chicago yeah, yeah. and so i kind of got influenced from both of those but then they both kind of died out and that's when propeller heads and people like them were like kind of rising up but for me this stuff sounds like hip-hop Yep. It yep. sounds like dance music, and they were doing stuff with sampling, like at the start yep. of this record where they're sampling a skateboard on a half pipe. And that just proved to me you could do anything with sound. And yeah. I was just like so, my mind was so blown that like I just wanted to start creating music. And these dudes and Fatboy Slim and stuff were the people that made me want to get like Cool Edit Pro and start making music right, on my right, computer. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that, but the, these guys were also, like you said, with hip hop, they they were taking hip hop loops and speeding yes, them up, right. yes. distorting them a little bit, yeah. You know, yeah. Or, yeah, and then put another loop on top of it, maybe take the bass out of one loop. And so then, you know, dope. Yeah. They were doing the techniques like what what uh, hip hop producers were doing, yeah, because hip hop producers were doing the same, taking like bass, filtering out bass and yeah. stuff like that. But they were doing it at a faster tempo with the same elements and stuff, right, which right. is so cool. And it man. totally appealed to the hip hop ear because you yes. know, like I was a hip hop head, like heavy at that time, and like. I wasn't into a lot of electronic music, but when this album came, like it spoke to me because I was yeah. like, oh, they're doing the same thing, you know? Oh my goodness. This album cover, I mean, it has, you know, there's a heavy James Bond vibe throughout this whole album. Yeah, you know, true. The Shirley Bassey thing, true, then they have true. the Her Majesty's Secret Service, but I love this album cover where they're like walking away from the explosion. <laughs> like they're just like, yeah, yeah. They just blew something up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They so blew my mind. That's my mind yeah. being blown as a teenager yeah. on the cover of this album. Um, also definitely worth checking out is they produced an entire album for the Jungle Brothers. Whoa. And it's like, it's banging. It's, I think it's called VIP or the single was called VIP. Oh yeah, I think yeah, I had yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's I like, it was banging. That. Yeah, that was yeah. them, Alex Gifford and Mike might've just facts. been Alex, but yeah, yeah. We get, we get, we get deep on this. No, I'm liking it, man. <laughs> I'm learning so much. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Propeller heads, decks and drums and rock and roll. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 